And it seems like we're good. Alright, stream seems to have started, so you guys can uh, listen to me on there because I'm not going to talk as much on this channel. Okay, sorry guys. I think we're live, maybe, yeah? If I uh, let my thing load. Okay, we're live, yes, we're good. I'm sorry. Okay, so let's learn to make some trees. So to start off, I have a list of things here. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of things that I use in terms of tools here. Um, the first would be my slash uh, uh, power tools, so PT, and then uh, I usually do it for speed and for um, for post one and post two. So let me do speed six and then let me do post one. And for post one and post two, since the role that it commands, you actually have to put a slash because it only does one for you. Uh, post, I want that one to be post two and this one to be post one. Okay, so just so you guys can follow along, when I click these things will do those things. So just, yeah. Okay, so when you guys are making trees, first things first, um, trunks. Uh, so the first, and most important thing that I got, I really want to teach you guys is that uh, when you're making a tree trunk, there's basically an infinite amount of ways that a tree trunk can go. Um, so the first thing to keep in mind is that uh, for most trees, um, I guess really the the angles are really what's what's important when it comes to a tree trunk and really the branches too. But we'll get to the branches in a second. Um, so just to start off, you can obviously you can go straight up you can go you know at a 90 degree angle but then there's also things like going at an angles 90 and then you go at a 90 this way and then you go at a 90 the other way essentially there's an infinite amount of angles you can take on with with lines okay um, so point being you can start out your tree in basically any way um, I guess I'll accept that even though you guys can you guys can go to slash warp uh, trees yeah uh, let me guess. Slash warp trees. All right, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, now you guys can see that. Um, that should be fine. Let me move this down so that I can see that. Um, I should be able to answer questions um, in chat and in the uh, stream if you guys have things there. Um, I'm gonna stay away from um, this thing for now. Um, I forgot to send that. Let's send it <laughs> since I am live now. All right, um, but yeah, if you guys want to ask questions in either this chat or the uh, Twitch chat, you guys can ask there, and I'll try to answer them and try to keep up with that. Um, but for now, yeah, um, I'm going to keep doing the teaching, and then we'll get to questions and stuff later, unless you guys have really good ones for now. Um, so anyway, with the trunks, basically, as I said, you can start in an infinite amount of ways. So. Um, with different trees though, really when it comes down to it, you're going to want to just look at the tree itself and see how normally that tree starts. And uh, <laughs> I got a lot of frogs on my message, it's funny. Um, anyway, you're going to want to see how the tree starts in real life because that's basically the best kind of help you can get. Um, and that really goes for, for most things with building, You just, just having a little bit of inspiration from real life is good. Um, so let's just say like we're going to make a plantain tree kind of like a, a normal tree tree I guess like the most generic tree you can think of um, and so I guess when you do that when the most um, sorry I'm tripping over my words here so the most important part for the trunk is going to be shaping it in this sh line that you gave it so if you went straight up and down you're probably not going to want to make it that thick unless you're making it really really tall okay and if you are made it super curvy, you can kind of add a lot of more depth than you think. Um, and you can kind of do a what I, what I like to call a 0.5 wide tree, because normally if you do, um, whoops, got rid of my, whoops. Um, normally if you do a convex selection, so slash slash cell convex, or slash slash con, um, and you were to make this same thing, uh, let me go a little bit higher actually, and then just kind of, so if you were to do curve and then 17 with a one thickness, that's huge. Okay, so 
what I like to do is is this size. It looks much more natural in a tree, so that's what I call a 0.5 wide tree, I guess. It's not really an actual term, but we're calling it that. <laughs> um, so yeah, keep that in mind whenever you're making trees, because also whenever you do this curve for trees like this and you start out with a curve like this, this usually doesn't look that great um, to start off with. I mean, as you guys can see, it's pretty obvious that it's a cylinder that it just got curved. Um, and uh, the best way to do that, or the best way to like make it look more natural is just to kind of taper it down from the bottom up. So I know that the top is not going to be as thick as the bottom because I'm gonna need to put thin branches at the top. So you just kind of do it by hand and taper it down. And you could also do this with like roll edit brushes and stuff, but uh, not ideal, I guess, because this is such a small size of things, especially with trees this big. And with God trees, though, whenever you start getting into sizes of like three or more, I'd say, like branch sizes, maybe two, maybe, um, like with curves, two wide, three wide. So if I were to do like a three wide curve, that, that I could smooth with world edit and stuff. But normally I'd want to just kind of keep it by hand because it's easier. So let me go ahead and undo that because I don't, I'd like to keep the, uh, the nice curve that I did there. Okay. So going off of one of these sticks here, let's actually keep this curve going here and let's just, uh, let's use this. Um, I'm gonna make a stack of it though, make a copy so that we can keep this for you guys to look at. Okay, so yeah, this fear was basically the point that uh, angles are infinite. <laughs> you can do an infinite amount of things with the, just the first line. Uh, stack, oh, I didn't make it, oh, we gotta do the keyword. That's important. Okay, so onto the branches here. Um, let me look at my notes, see what I had important. Um, so yeah, basically my point here is that it's Minecraft and there's only so much you can really get away with not doing and there's only so much you can get away with actually doing. There's only so much you have to do, I guess, with the branches. But there's a fine line between those two things. Um, so. Let me see if I can show you guys what I mean. So let's just use, um, yeah, let's use these two trees as an example. So basically, let's say we have a tree this size and we have a tree this size, okay? Um, let, me give, let me give this like the same kind of curve maybe as that one, if I can here, just with like a stick. Okay, so yeah, we have a tree this size and that size. Um, ideally with branches, you don't want to do uh, too, too many, but you don't want to do so few that leaves don't really make sense. Because a common mistake with trees that I see people do is they'll just put like four or five branches because it's really hard to do branches by hand. Um, and I know right now it looks really easy to do that kind of curve, but normally that takes practice, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, so no normally, with trees this big, I do like three or four bigger branches, and then I have a bunch of little branches coming off of those. And the branches on a tree are really the guides for the leaves, and especially the leaves that I'm gonna show you guys how to make here. You guys have to make good branches on the trees, otherwise the leaves just don't look good. Um, and really with any tree, if you just don't put enough branches, the leaves won't look natural, and it'll just look like you clumped a bunch of leaves together and then you have like wood coming out of it which is technically a tree but that's not natural looking i guess um so the best thing to do here is with the bigger branches just kind of make them coming up okay so i have two big branches here and then i kind of made this smaller branch coming off of this one um and that's going to be the biggest parts of this tree we'll say okay Maybe you could do like one more big branch kind of coming off over here if you wanted, but otherwise I, that's the biggest branches in the tree right there, okay? Now for a tree this small, <laughs> there's probably only gonna be two branches that are this big, and they're only gonna be really this, this big in it at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I can hear, uh, I am talking in yeah, my Twitch stream <laughs> um, so yeah I just don't want to get convoluted with things in the chat and stuff so yeah um, 
Sorry, guys. <laughs> With a tree this small, the branches, um, you only really have to make two big branches, and it's the whole tree because the branches are going to be basically as big as the trunk, especially with smaller trees, unless you really kind of make the trunk look unnatural. Um, so it's hard to make them look look better than that unless you use fences. And I I have my own thing about fences, but um, I think fences are good unless you want to uh, put leaves on them, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I think fences don't really work well with leaves, but otherwise they look good for trees. That's my consensus. Okay, so for a tree this small, that's my two branches right there. And then branches from here, I either do with fences or I just kind of make them come off and I don't connect them this time. So I would want to go out into open spaces here, find a good open spot there. There's an open spot there. Maybe kind of make that one come out. I also want a few to come down but not actually go down. So I want them to go down and then back up. And then I have a couple more coming off of this branch. So yeah, normally though, you would for a tree like this size, you would have to do some smoothing first. So you'd want to make the branch, and then you'd want to make sure that it actually kind of makes sense, then tapers down to the uh, sides. My doorbell just rang. That's awesome. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Basically, make sure it tapers because otherwise it doesn't look good. Um, and for tapering in, in branches, the hardest part, I'd say, is to make it look not bumpy. And as you can see, like this, this kind of makes it look bumpy. But there's some compromise you have to make because there's still blocks. Um, the best way to do it, I've found, is to either go from the trunk into the branch or just in, from the branch into the trunk. But either way, you got to make sure you go all the way into both things. So, for example, if you just do like a branch coming off here, and let's say I just smooth it down to the trunk, like that, that doesn't look right. It's not natural. you got to smooth it into the trunk. Okay, um, But I'm not going to put a branch there. I don't really like that. Um, so, let me go ahead and make some more branches on this. Um, basically, just going to show you guys the taper thing that I do a little bit more here. And then, um, the thing to keep in mind too when you make the branches is that really when you're doing this, it's not that hard to make mistakes when you're doing lines really fast, but it's a branch. So the great thing is, is that if you make a mistake, you could probably use it for the most part. Like. See, that one, I did two little lumps there. I didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. And like this, I did it like a four square here. I didn't mean to do that either. But I could use both of those and just make more branches coming off of them instead of going, ah, oh, I made a bunch of mistakes and then, you know, changing my mind or something. Okay. Uh, now I don't even have to get rid of the bricks and I have more branches. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, something to keep in mind. And trees are pretty random anyway, so using the mistakes that are random is pretty much a way that you can guarantee that the branches are random. <laughs> um, because you really, really don't want evenness when it comes to trees. Um, yeah. You can't see me in game. Do I need to do slash hide or something? Am I gonna... Oh, whoa. All the players are shown. Okay. Well, I think if you do hide to me, it gets rid of the players. Um, Wow, there's a lot more people here than I thought. I can only see like mods and stuff. That's fine. Okay. Sorry guys, I have to hide you for now. I can't pay attention if I don't. Okay, let me get my notes again here. So onto the I think we have enough uh information on the branches. I'm gonna make a few more small ones here so that we can make the leaves. Um and then I'm gonna show you a couple different ways that you can make leaves. Um really the main way I make leaves is kind of impossible on this server because they don't have the plugin, but that's okay because I'll still show you how it works. Um without actually showing you, I guess. <laughs> uh, so yeah, as you guys can see, I'm just making basically a buttload of branches. And with the smaller branches, you basically only want to make them coming off of the smaller parts. Um, otherwise, it looks weird. You can have a couple maybe coming out, like down here, like if you have like a small branch coming off or something. But then you may need like a couple more still. Um, because it just doesn't, it, even if you just put like one little twig coming off of the 
tree somewhere, it's going to look weird. So make sure it blends well and stuff. Um, yeah, I can add roots as well and show you guys how that works. Um, actually, I'll just go ahead and move this tree up. Uh, it's basically the same as branches, except um, with bigger trees, I don't like to do as many disconnected branches because it doesn't look as good, especially with really, really big trees. It just doesn't, doesn't look good. Um, so I try to stay away from that. But with the roots on any size tree, it's definitely good to have a couple of disconnected. And I definitely recommend fences for roots no matter what because those just work. And I'm going to show you maybe a little trick to do fences here. Um, so let's move this up 10. Okay. Um, and when root, when you're thinking about roots, make sure you kind of take into account the curve of the tree that you made. So if the tree is curving down this way and then you make all of your roots going down this way, it's not going to look right <laughs> because that's not really how trees work. It might still look natural, but I'd say for the most part, roots usually kind of go into the trend with the tree. And also pay attention to the branches you make, because if you make roots that go out way further than the branches you made, that's also definitely not natural, because trees have roots that almost never go further than their branches. But there are some trees that have roots that go like to the tip of their branches, I know. Like oak trees and stuff like that. They have like super long. Okay, so for roots, I like to kind of just give myself some vines here. And I never really make a thick root, because that's just how it goes, unless it's a big tree. Um, you still kind of have to do some tapering stuff, um, especially if it's a bigger tree. But like for this size tree, yeah, I mean, just kind of a one size root works for most of this. Um, and then for the lower roots, you just kind of make a line and then disconnect a lot. Um, and then make, make another line here, disconnect it, make one here. Um, and then off of these disconnected things, I'm going to put some sponge. So actually, let me go ahead and get some sponge. Oh, there we go. So get some sponge. And when you do that, you can make them into fences. So you want to make sure that these are connected, though, because otherwise, if you make like a gap like this, and you do what I, what I recommend doing with these, um, it won't work because fences are supposed to be connected. You'll just have a floating block right there, basically. And it'll look really floaty because it's a fence. <laughs> so make sure that if you're going to do like a replacing of fences, that they are connected because you have to keep in mind how fences work. Just FYI. OK. So yeah. Um, maybe put a couple more up here. In the higher area, but you don't want to really put too many fences anyway. And I know with World Painter and stuff, fences are definitely not ideal. Uh, so fences aren't necessary, but they do make roots look nicer, I think. So I'll give them fences. So let me go ahead and replace 17, 17, 12, and then replace. Uh, let's do. Uh, let me find out what the ID is for. 85. I can replace 19 with 85. Cool. Okay, that'll work. So, with the rest of this, uh, let me make a couple more branches here because I think this side of the tree looks a little bit flat. So yeah, another thing, just in general, whenever you're doing builds, is to just fly around them a lot. <laughs> because if something doesn't look right, you're never going to know if you're looking at it from one angle always. Which is, I guess, an okay thing if you're making one of those like angle-only builds, like uh, like one of those ones in the uh, the showcase, actually. Okay. Let me see if I can read anything here. <laughs> I'm making thin trees, you should keep it. Uh... Okay. I don't know if that makes sense or not to me. So let me let me go ahead and just show you guys the leaf stuff, and then then we'll take and then I'll take questions. Yeah, I think that'll work better. Okay, so once you've made all of your branches or most of them, there's a couple different ways you can do leaves here. So I'm gonna actually stack this tree a couple times here so that we can see all the methods side by side. Except um, I can't do one of them, not really. So slash stack. 10? Nope, let's just do 3. <laughs> nope, what the heck?
Um, let's try that again. Post to. And post one. And stack three. Oh, that was 23. You know what? Whatever. It's fine. <laughs> now we have 23 trees. So I think what I'm going to do. It really. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, you know what? Undo. Undo. I can't type. Okay. I'm going to change the log colors on all on the whole tree first, actually, which is something I definitely recommend doing on every tree because that just looks better. And with one point. Uh, 13 that's coming out, you guys are going to get, uh, what is it, chiseled wood? No. What is it called? Uh, dang it, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, you could also work for some flatter roots, right? They get flat, flat. So yeah, roots uh, sometimes are pretty flat, I agree. Um, yeah, so just look at the tree whenever you're doing any kind of part of the tree, really. Um, I recommend just looking up uh, stuff for the tree. <laughs> so, uh, I just like to make them deep because it makes pasting them in easier. Um, okay, what was I doing? Leaves. Replace 17, 17, 1, 3. Let's make it 13. Yeah. Mm hmm. And let's place 82 with, I think, 101. Nope. I'm going to do 80. Oops. 85 with 1191. One, uh, redo. That's just totally wrong. Okay. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to know how to see the IDs like this, you can just do FN and H at the same time while you're in the game, like floating around and stuff. Um, super helpful, by the way especially uh, for building with world edit and stuff. It gives you the IDs. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. That was not a big fail when I did stack 23. It was just a little fail. <laughs> okay. This time, let's just do three, yeah? Uh, two, is, two is fine as well, I guess. Hit the wrong number. Okay. So, not the best shape of tree. Normally, I would go in and kind of get that a little bit more, I think, like more branches and stuff, but I kind of want to show you guys leaves more so than anything. So the first and main method that you've probably all tried already and done um, would be the BR sphere method. Um, but the problem with this is that it's extremely random. Um, and with trees, really the leaves aren't random, but I have found that um, so if you're looking at trees and stuff, obviously, they have not square leaves, but usually round leaves or pointy leaves or something like that. And usually every tree kind of has different leaves. So something I found that's super awesome that works really well as long as you have schematic brush. Okay, this is a disclaimer. So what you do is you make three sets of just the rule of threes, you don't have to make three, but three sets of leaves. Um, what I like to do is just make three little, do up one three times up in the air, and then get myself two different variations of leaves. So let's go spruce leaves and regular oak leaves. Um, and then I kind of just place the leaf there in the middle. Um, so for the, for this tree, for oak trees, it's kind of just a basic leaf. It's nothing really special. Um, but what what I do basically here is I make like a little kind of vine for each leaf here. I just kind of have little little chunks coming off of the center, and then uh, from those chunks you make leaves. <laughs> um, and usually, if you're not using multiple colors and stuff, you can do this like however you really want. It doesn't have to be multiple colors. But I like to do multiple colors so that I can replace them later on if I want to. And the good thing about using multiple colors is you can just replace it with one of these two, and it will look basically the same as an oak leaf, <laughs> and no one would ever know that you used multiple colors. Um, but I like to start off using a really contrasty leaf so that I don't get confused. Um, so yeah, you just kind of have a couple of vines coming off here and uh, make leaves. 
Uh, and you want to make sure that they're kind of all going off in a bunch of different angles. Because if you have leaves that are super flat, while there are some trees that have flat leaves like this, um, this tree won't look very good. So you can see as like all of these are the same angle, normally you'd want to do like that and stuff. And you, want, you want stuff coming off this way and that way and going on 45s and stuff. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you actually know what the leaves look like on your tree. If, they're, if they are flat leaves, then maybe you should make them semi-flat. But I'd recommend still making some depth in them, giving them like having the flat part come off of not flat stuff. So like yeah, I would still do these points and stuff. If that makes sense. I hope. <laughs> okay. So let's do that and make a couple more leaves here. So yeah, normally this is basically the hardest part of making the leaves uh, in this fashion. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you how it actually will look on the tree um, right now on this server because they don't have uh, schematic brush. <laughs> but normally you would just go ahead and select these, create schematics of them. So like, let's just call this one, this, uh, we have to copy it first. Copy S-C-H-B-R, or sorry, schematic, C -H schematic, save, and then leaf one and you want to make sure to do an underscore and then call this one one um, and I like to give myself a sign because this the naming part is probably the important part here so um, when it comes to this this command and if you guys want to try this out it does work on builders refuge so you're welcome to go try it there <laughs> uh, leaf underscore one so normally I would go in and I would name these and then leaf whoops leaf underscore two and then leaf three on the other one and once you've done that you can do s slash slash s c h b r and then space so you would put the name of what you just called it so leaf and then underscore and you don't need to put the number so this star will make it randomly rotate between a bunch of different stuff here so the star is rotating between the three different schematics that we made okay that's what that first star means and then at star star is just meaning that it's going to rotate those three randomly at 90 degrees each time it pastes it. Okay, so um, I'll I'll do this one more time here just to show you guys what it means. Um, and then up this caret is just the y offset, so how far up and down it'll go. So if it's pasting like into the ground, you can just do up like three or something, and it'll start pasting three above the ground every time. Okay, so I can't actually show you, but normally that's what you would do. Okay, and just to answer that guy's question, you select it, so on both points, copy it, and then do schematic, save, and then you give it your own name. So I'm, I call it leaf, or just leaf, 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 whatever, or you can Pluto, leaf, whatever. Um, but just make sure that at the end of it, it has an underscore and then the numbers, okay? So, because that's the most important part of the naming scheme, okay? Uh, otherwise, the rotating randomly through the leaves won't work, and it makes your life a lot harder because you have to make a brush for every single leaf, okay? So once you've done that, you can just basically go through, and let's just pretend that I put it on this shovel, and you can just paste on every uh, thing. So, and the other command that does work on this server is the schematic, or not the schematic brush, the sphere brush. So. Um, sphere, S C A V uh, R sphere, and then I usually do just ten percent uh, leaves, so ten or twenty, ten to twenty usually works. Um, Eighteen, and then ninety percent zero, um, and then f depending on the size of the tree, it really does matter what size brush you use. So for this size tree, it's probably going to be fine with like two or three. I wouldn't go any bigger than three though because that just, three is already a really big sphere um, as you can see. And the most important part of this because as you can see I just deleted my branch there. You want to do mask zero after you type that. So make sure you do mask zero after you typed it otherwise it won't do the mask right and it won't work. Okay. Um, 
So that's the size sphere, or that's the size three sphere. Uh, I think I'm gonna undo those, uh, and I'm gonna do a size two because that's too big. Okay, and then once you've done that, you just go ahead and click. Oops, let's undo mask zero. Okay, I'm pretty sure you have to do the mask every single time on some servers. You do anyway. I know on Builders Refuge you do. Um, it's just kind of good habit to get anyway. Um, so yeah, with these leaves, it's possible to do kind of like those, but it doesn't look as uh, good, I would say. Um, and you get floating leaves, no matter what, usually when you do this, so that's the downside, um, especially if you have a server that's going to be uh, decaying leaves a lot. <laughs> Um, yeah, I guess you can use clipboard brush, but I don't like using that because that that brush. Okay, let me see if I can explain this the best way here. Schematic brush doesn't take priority, so those blocks won't take priority over the branches. But with the other brush that you're that the uh, I think the Family Guy mentioned, it does take priority. So like, if I were to paste those leaves in, the leaves would take priority, and they would take up my tree instead of getting rid of the leaves and just like having the branch go through the leaves if that makes sense so by default the schematic brush does that I don't know if there's a way to do that with the uh, um, thing other than a G mask I guess but by default the schematic brush does that so there's no extra work you just got to type in that command and you're done <laughs> that's why I like the schematic brush just so I think it's better, um, but there is clipboard brush as well, and you can do G mask zero. So, yeah, uh, that does work. <laughs> I'll admit uh, that is a way to do it, um, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that right now. Uh, so let me go look at my notes real quick. So yeah, scale, your sphere schematic. Um, yeah, so doing things by hand. I honestly recommend it with trees that are smaller than 15 blocks. Um, and doing leaves by hand is basically necessary on trees that are extremely specific leaves. So just for example, like this willow tree, I would just do those by hand, especially if I was making it like uh, that size even maybe, I would just kind of dra drag down the leaves by hand to make it look the best it could. Anyway, okay, um, that or I would use some sort of schematic brush to, to do the, basically the same thing. Um, and leaves like, like this and stuff are just kind of necessary to do by hands because you just, you have to do so many like little things. Um, and then other leaves that you basically have to do by hands are, I'm going to say, are palm trees and pine trees. Okay, so thing with pine trees, um, if you have a branch to put the leaves on, go for it. But there's a point when the leaves have to become the branch on a pine tree. Um, so let me see if I can show you guys what I mean. Uh, a pine tree this big, I could put some branches on. I could put like a little branch down here and maybe kind of build from there and put branches and then maybe put some leaves on there. But with this size, I would still basically have to put stuff by hand and make the shape of the tree with leaves by hand here. Oh, let me get spruce leaves, actually. Might be a little bit more sensible. Okay, so kind of like this part, you have to make that tall part there. You got to make a little branch coming off. And then it's best to just kind of, when you're up on the top part, make things by hand here. This little part, you a branch coming off here. Uh, that's probably actually too much there. And you have a branch coming here. Okay. So yeah, and then this is this is a tree, a pine tree with branches going down. There's also pine trees with branches that go up. Um, but basically, the same rule applies if once the tree becomes small enough. So basically, at this point here. Like at this point now, so let me do ch uh, or um, this time I can do the uh, br sphere, and let me do eighteen thirteen because that's the non-decaying. 
and undo that. And let's make it one. So for this, I would kind of maybe just cook in some here. That's okay, because there's branches there. But I still wouldn't do that too much, and I would end up probably just kind of tipping off these branches by hand. Um, and that's usually what I would do with like bigger pine trees, is for the bigger branches, I would make them, put the leaves on them with a brush, and then kind of tip it off by hand, because there's really no other way to make it look really good um, with a pine tree. Uh, so yeah, general of pine trees. And with palm trees, um, there's basically only <laughs> a couple of different ways to make palm trees. Uh, you, you make them either really skinny or really thick, and you make them with, you can put slabs and stuff that does help, I guess. I think they look pretty good with slabs. Um, but it also depends on the style of palm tree. But when it comes to the leaves, there's, there's like two styles of leaves, I'll say, for palms, and that would be either spaghetti palm tree leaves, so like these, and you don't, don't thicken them out, and you just put a buttload of them. Um, let me just kind of, and you could also do this with curve. Uh, and a common mistake I see guys do with palm trees uh, that I want to point out here is uh, basically this. <laughs> um, right now, all I've done is made leaves that go out, and I've kind of stayed flat. But normal palm trees, and basically trees like this in general, they have leaves that kind of just go up, <laughs> and they don't fall over. And in Minecraft, it's best to do just a couple of those, not really too, too many, because you don't want to crowd the, the top point. But you do want it to be pretty obvious that there's some leaves like coming out of the top, at the top. And then also, you got to make sure you do the leaves down here as well. There's going to be like drooping leaves um, and stuff like that. So yeah, those are spaghetti leaves. Um, they're okay. I mean, honestly, that looks like a palm tree, and there's really nothing wrong with it. Now, the best way you can do them, I'd say, um, I'm going to make this a little bit thicker here, I think. Uh, best leaf technique, in my opinion, is to kind of make that same, do that same thing, but then just kind of go into the middle and make it just a little bit thicker. Um, and the best thing to do with this, especially with palm trees, is just to kind of make it look random. Um, you want to make the leaves like thick, not all sideways thick. So you want like some some that go their thickness go to the side. So like this one, instead of putting my extra blocks over here, I'm going to put them on top. Okay, and as you can see, these, these leaves are already like way more com complex than than those. And all it really takes is just making a line, and then in the middle of your line, just kind of adding some blocks to the side, or the top, or the bottom. <laughs> and uh, when you curve the leaves, when you do add the blocks to the top or the bottom, I recommend doing it on the outside of the curve, not the inside usually. Just uh, rule of thumb when you're kind of filling things in general, is to do it on the outside of the curve to give the curve the curve you want, because if you fill it on the inside, it's going to be a different curve than you actually made. So, just keep that in mind. Okay, let's make a few more leaves here, kind of some drooping leaves, and then what I like to do for the, like, dead, dead leaves, because with palm trees, um, you have to keep in mind that there's, like, layers of leaves, basically. There's really alive leaves at the top, and then there's, like, sort of alive leaves at the, <laughs> in the middle, and then there's basically just like dead leaves in, in the bottom. And the best thing to do that I've found is either to just get glass or get uh, some sort of uh, different leaf and just kind of go in and give some lines here to make these dead leaves here. Um, and then you have a palm tree and you can replace the wood with, with all sided and whatever. Okay. So, I think that's all I really had to explain. Um, just make sure you keep in mind when doing any of these trees, I guess the last thing I'll say here is that scale is very important. <laughs> um, if you're doing 
a tree and you scale it up really, really big and you make leaves that are this tiny, uh, it's not going to look right. <laughs> okay. And if you scale it really, really small and you put these, these leaves on that tree, it's probably, it might not look right. Okay. But these leaves would probably look okay on that tree. Just, I'm just trying to give an example. Like if I were to put these leaves on that pine tree or something, they, they would not look right. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, or if I were to put uh, bigger leaves on this tree, I guess would be a, a better example. If I were to put like really, really big schematic leaves on this tree, it wouldn't look right. So yeah, scale. <laughs> All right, and now I'll answer questions and stuff. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let me see. Let me go up and read things a little bit here. Um, clipboard piece I say, yeah, that's the thing. Um, let me see. First place, haven't been using World Edit long enough to invite people. All right. So yeah, um, maybe I think I'll go ahead and answer questions in general chat room too. I think that's maybe a thing for the last 10 minutes or so. Um, I'll also talk in this channel. Okay, what was done to me? All right, let's see if I can find any, any questions. <laughs> this stream will definitely be saved. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Um, can you send us the image you showed off? Many different types. This, yes, I can definitely send this to people. Um, I will try to find the original DeviantArt so that I can credit the artist. <laughs> though, because I, this is just a picture that I you know, yanked out of there. <laughs> can you build a bonsai tree? Well, yes, I can, <laughs> but I'm not going to right now. Do <laughs> um, you have any advice or any other plants? Such as, oh, yes, other plants. That's what I forgot to talk about. Um, I'll talk about that really quickly here. So uh, I'm going to stop talking to the channel, actually, for that. <laughs> for other plants, um, Basically, the same rule applies in general. You have a stem or a trunk, and then you have things coming off of that trunk. And if you don't make it blend, it won't look natural. But the exception with plants is that um, stems with plants are usually really, really skinny, and then the plant itself is huge. Um, and then when you make, uh, let me actually get something. Let me just use like uh, a green. So let's pretend this is a stem. Um, when you're making green uh, stems and stuff, if you're making them super straight up and down, and then you make a bunch of stuff coming off of it, it won't look bad. But if you make it super straight up and down and then you have like one thing coming off of it, it's not gonna look that great unless you have a lot more that aren't going straight up and down. Um, especially if you're using that as a schematic. So just keep that in mind. Um, and then with plants that are like heavy in leaves and stuff, uh, I mean really it's just make, make leaves like you would that palm tree and stuff. Just make, you know, stuff coming off of it. And as with the tree, I would also recommend looking at, um, you know, the plant itself in real life if you can. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Do you like do I sketch my own concepts? No. <laughs> I am not a very good drawer <laughs> at all. I if I'm gonna make a concept, I actually just kinda do it in here because that's that's my best bet. Um so yeah. Uh do you find large trees or small trees to be more satisfying to make? I find medium-sized trees to be the most satisfying, honestly. Um, sorry, my roommates decided to start doing the laundry. Um, so, how do you color your trees? Ooh, that's a good question, actually. I have, I have a good answer for that one. So, um, what was I answering before? Yeah, sketching trees. I usually just kind of make the tree in here and then kind of go with it because that's that's the best way I can do it. I'm not that uh, great of a drawer, honestly. But I could
could do that. And then I also really, I really like to look at real life trees more than anything. I don't actually like to use these as much as I do real life trees. I'll just go outside and be like, what does this leaf look like? Oh, okay, let me make that. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay, coloring trees. Let me do that really quick. Um, so let me just color all of these. And the most awesome thing that I've found for coloring, uh, especially with darker trees, um, is to do this. So slash slash replace uh, 17. And then this also works for the leaves as well, actually. So let me go ahead and uh, do I still have, not really, but I'll just kind of put enough leaves on here for you guys to get the idea of what's going to happen with them or what's happening to them whenever I do the command. Um, but it's going to look really bad because I'm just going to do this really fast because we don't have much time left here. Um, I mean, I guess I can go over a little bit, but um, yeah, I don't want to do too much. Okay, that's good enough. Um, also, highly recommend to not do this with your trees. <laughs> Don't underdo the leaves because it looks, well, yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I can do is replace 17 with hashtag simplex, and then we put our brackets. So this first number in this first bracket is just how big the coloring will be, so how big the blobs are, basically. So I'm just going to do like a three or four size blob. Um, and I'll, get, I'll maybe show you guys the difference. Um, and I'm just going to do 17, 13, and 1, 6, 2, 13, which are just the, uh, both the all-sided dark logs, basically. Um, and it'll mix in those two together. Whoops, nope, 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 wrong one. Not 12, 13. There we go. Now it mixed them in. So, as you can see, that's what that looks like. I'll go ahead and show you what 3 looks like really quick. Bam. Yeah, so it's just a little bit smaller blobs. There's a little bit more, more wood or whatever. But yeah, it's a really easy way to color the trees. Um, this works really well for palm trees, FYI, um, to color the like this part. Um, you can use regular. So instead of, I would use I think it's fifteen for yeah. So 1715, which is the jungle wood, and then 1712. Yeah, and then it basically makes you a palm tree. No problem. One easy command. And then for the leaves, I'm going to just do it on every leaf I have in this, this uh, thing here. So replace 18, 18, and it's basically the exact same command. So actually, let me just do. Um, and I usually like to do like 14 and 12 because those look better, best together. Um, that or 12 and uh, really anything but pine tree leaves look good together, <laughs> I would say. Any combination of leaves except for pine tree leaves with them. Uh, let me change this to 18 and then 18. And bam. Nice. So yeah, I just kind of does the same thing, blobs up your leaves, but I think it looks really nice and it's a super easy command. <laughs> so yeah. Um, the largest tree I've ever created is actually on Sketchfab. You guys can view it if you really like to. Um, and it's probably the realist, real, most realistic tree I've made to date as well. Um, my favorite tree to build Good question, actually. Uh, let's go with either a bonsai or willow. Honestly, I mean, I love willow trees. They're just they're amazing. I think willow trees' leaves are probably the hardest to build, so that makes sense. Um, pretty sure he's moving house at the moment. Blame him. Uh, bond. Yeah, I'm about to be moving house as well, actually, pretty soon here, so uh, I will be probably not streaming next week, actually, <laughs> for those of you who do watch that. Um, <laughs> shameless plug, I stream every Saturday for Everbloom um, on YouTube. <laughs> but yeah, let's see, any other questions? How do you cry in Spanish? <laughs> Por qué? <laughs> Did I get it? Did I do it? <laughs>
Um, let's see. Any more that I missed? Do you sketch small trees, pictures with the bundle? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, I think that's probably probably about it then. Yeah. Unless you guys have more questions. <laughs> Pluto. S B B S B. What is that? Oh, splatter ball. Yes. I like to use uh, the sphere brush though more because it's a lot more control and I think it's easier to control than uh, voxel anyway. There's just a lot more commands to type with voxel when you can type one command and get everything in one command basically except for the mask. So that's, I, mean, I think VR sphere is easier just, so, but I have used splatter brush before. Um, are there any tools you want to be able to add to Minecraft? Um, I really, just for the sake of trees, I wish there was a tool that you could do the curve, but then make the curve get smaller as you go. So like start at a, basically a zero curve, so like one block wide, and then end at like a four block wide curve or something like that. That would be dope, for especially for trees. Um, but other than that, I really don't, I don't really have any plugins that I would love. Um, that aren't already a thing, I guess. <laughs> like the schematic brush was something I really wanted for a long time. <laughs> have you planted any trees? In real life, I have planted two. <laughs> That's kind of depressing now that I say that out loud. I need to plant more trees in real life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, spike-like curve. Exactly. A spike and a curve combined. That would be amazing for trees. That would be like tree heaven. That would that would make trees just, just make them popping out. Trees. If you ask me. It should be doable. Oh my. But how much is it going to cost me? <laughs> All right. Uh, but I'm rich? Yeah, right. <laughs> I'm an artist, not rich. Let's be honest. <sighs> How many trees have I hugged? Well, that's a whole different question. <laughs> Are you telling me I have to become a drug lord? If you want to make a lot of money, you're going to have to become a drug lord. If you want to be a, a an artist, then be an artist. <laughs> Not very hopeful what I just said there, but hey, you know. <laughs> All right. So I think that's, uh, yeah, unless you guys have any more questions. <laughs> um, can't really think of anything else uh, to show you guys. Uh, if you were to make a pink cherry blossom, what block would you use for it? Would you use pink wool? No, not pink wool. Um, honestly, it's not really leaves either. Uh, I would use this method definitely for a pink cherry blossom and I would use minimal pink wool and I would use more of more of this stuff if you can because this pink stuff is much smoother um, and really just kind of combine pink and purple and white rather than using other stuff. Uh, definitely want to put some white in there. Maybe pink wool is fine. Uh, but yeah, I would use a multiple of colors, not just pink wool, is all I'm saying. <laughs> what got me into trees? Oh gosh. Uh, I don't know. Please show us a bonsai tree. All right. Um, I think the thing that got me into trees would just honestly be Minecraft and j to I mean, that and I really just like trees. I don't, I don't know how else to put that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's that's pretty much the story right there. I think uh, I saw a tree and then I was like, I can make that. And then, and then I started trying to make them and I was like, trees are pretty awesome. And then I like trees. <laughs> I don't know. Glass, yes, glass would work too. I would definitely put some of that in there. I actually could use some of that. Um, but basically, instead of making leaves for a bonsai, 
or for a cherry blossom, I guess, for the blossom part, I would not not make leaves, I would make flowers more so. So these things, I would make them look extremely even. Um, just kind of doing stuff like this and, uh, you know, giving myself flowers. Flower, flower, flower. Um, don't all have to be the exact same here, but I'm gonna get rid of this middle one and add, uh, actually I'm gonna do the pink one in the middle, I think. That'll be better. But they need to be connected. So if you don't put a block in the middle, you'll just have air all over the place, basically. <laughs> um, you can do that, but not something I would do, I guess. Okay. Coolio. Coolio. So I think you get the idea. Um, I'm going to end up there because I would do a I think I would end up doing a lot more to this. I would uh, like add pink wool and stuff to it, and I would add other kinds of glass. I'd probably end up adding like also the glass planes to it, and I would probably add other colors to it. But at the same time, I don't know if I'd want to go over like four colors because that just gets a little bit confusing at this scale. Unless you're gonna make a bigger tree. Yeah. Um, engineering. Uh, da -da. Is my resource pack? I made birch trees, cherry blossom trees. Um, in my resource pack, I made birch trees, cherry. Oh, I think that's supposed to be and. <laughs> okay, got it. Pluto, how do you make a cyber tree? Um, honestly, you probably make the the tree just out of structure. I mean, that's what I would assume. <laughs> Like like a structure tree. That'd be kinda cool. It'd be hard to do though. It'd be very difficult to do. I don't know how that would work. Uh I can't really think of like I mean, I guess if you didn't put a bunch of small branches it might work. Like if you did like a really creepy tree that had like very specific placed branches, I could you could maybe do like a cyberpunk ish tree. Um <laughs> Just a normal tree, but have it reply to really shady emails. <laughs> Cyberpunk tree. <laughs> I like that. He's he's got the answer for you, man. <laughs> Where do you get inspiration from again? So mainly real life. I I really like real life trees more than anything. I think uh, that's my main inspiration, just because that's what I love to look at. But also, if if I'm gonna do like inspiration or I like need to look at something, I love going to DeviantArt and searching tree concepts or Pinterest works too. Um, I think I got this one from Pinterest actually. <laughs> Ironic enough. Oh yeah, this is one of my tree packs. You guys can see. I think uh, forget who made the GIF render, but I did not make it. So um, yeah, just uh, that stuff. Sometimes blocks like green terracotta for leaves. Do you use... Yes. Yes. Oh, here. I'll show you guys this one last trick real quick and take a couple more questions and then we'll end up the stream, right? So let me add a little more leaves to this tree at first. Um, let me get my, my shovel back. Um, and I'm just going to do it with BR Sphere because it's fine. Sphere, 10%, 18, 12, 90%, 0. Um, and let's do like 10, no, not 10, just like one, not two, maybe two will work. Yeah. Oh, undo. Gotta do the G mask. Jeez, or the mask, zero. Okay. So let me add some more leaves to this tree real quick, just kind of spam them. Not really. Normally I'd spend a little more time on them, but I just want to show you guys this trick as it were, um, and it's a world edit trick, so just keep that in mind. Uh, you are in Everbloom now. Yes, I am in Everbloom, indeed. I stream for Everbloom every week. <laughs> I am like the, uh, the streamer dude, <laughs> I guess you could say, or whatever. Um, so yeah, last trick, and then we're going to end up the stream, all right, guys? Sounds good to me, because... It's already over an hour, and I think we're getting on to the next uh, master class here pretty quick, which is going to be uh, Kevinosaurus. Who do we got here? Let me look real quick. 
Yeah, no, Knuckles, not Kamasaurus. I knew it started with a K. We got Knuckles with some interior, which I highly recommend watching because he's good. It's, he's good at that. Um, <laughs> let me plug that one and have you guys all leave mine real quick. Okay, let me show you before you guys leave. <laughs> so you want to select the tree, and you'll do replace. Um, and so this both works for snow and for other things. So I'm going to do G mask zero so that it doesn't replace any leaves that I have already. Um, and it's really good to probably do that first. So you do replace and I'm going to do above 18 um, with 50% uh, 9, 8, oops, 50%, 9, 8 and 50% zero. Okay. Or not 9, 8, sorry, 9, 5. Uh, let's do, let's go ahead and make it 13 so that it's the green. Yeah, bam. And then you can also do it with the below carrot. Oops, not the right thing. That one, the other carrot, and they'll go below it. So super easy way to do that. Also, you can use it to make like vines. So once you've made it under it, um, so let me undo two. Um, super easy way to make vines so let's just say I want that glass back um, below it now if I'm gonna make vines it doesn't make sense for the vines to come off of any area that doesn't already have glass so I want to do the same command again except with 95 so it's gonna come off of 95 and I still want it to be randomly air and glass so now it'll just start stacking it basically randomly and super easy way to make vines, or I guess a willow tree if you really wanted to. And then uh, you could, if you really wanted, just replace 9.5 with simplex, or let's replace 18, comma, 9.5 with hashtag simplex. Uh, let's do 18, or no, 4, 18, 2. And 18, 1, 3. I think that should do it. Oh, that didn't work. Well, maybe. Let's try selecting it again. Okay. I want to replace 9, 5, comma, 18 with hashtag simplex 4. 18, 12, comma, 18, 13. Nine, three. Or no, 14, sorry, let's do that. Hmm. Didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work, but it didn't work. Well, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. You guys, I think, understand the concept of what I was trying to do. <laughs> Where is Pluto's Everbloom stream? Because I don't see it on his channel. Okay. That is actually a, probably a good thing to put on my channel. <laughs> you have a good point. Um, but it is on the Ever... I stream off for the Everbloom YouTube on the Everbloom YouTube, just so you guys know. Um, so subscribe to Everbloom Studios if you guys want those streams. Um, and then I could start maybe streaming here on my own channel, but we'll see if people will have a demand for that or not. Um, yeah. So sounds good. I think this is uh, where we'll go ahead and end it up. Uh, thank you guys for all joining this masterclass. This was a lot more people than I thought were going to be here, honestly. <laughs> so that's awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, means a lot. Uh, and I hope to see a lot more trees in the future from everybody, <laughs> I guess. Uh, yeah, I will go ahead and I'll be posting this entire stream on YouTube, uh, and I'll maybe have an edited version with just like the important stuff, uh, because I did record it, I hope. <laughs> it was recording the right screen the whole time. Um, so yeah, I'll have it on YouTube, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. See ya!